It has been a minute. I have been doing so much work. I'm going to catch up on some of that work, but first, the shop is an absolute mess. I have got to clean this place up. Let me take some time and just do some shop cleanup. I don't know how long it'll take me, but you guys will see this go by a lot better. All right, this is something I want to show y'all. Um, when you're cleaning, if you have an anvil that's not bolted to the floor, or your stand that's not bolted to the floor, and I haven't looked under here yet, but I'm just guessing, may not be that bad. But if it's not bolted to the floor to help keep you from chasing it, mine's pretty level. I took a router and level. All of that, but that stuff right there only aids your anvil in moving and walking. All cleaned up now. A couple of things, just real quick. No soapbox, I promise. Um, have a place for things in your shop. I've done it both ways been chaotic and just kind of put stuff places but have take the time to, to set it up to where everything in your shop has a place that it goes or things like it has a place that it goes where you're gonna love this is when it comes to time for cleanup it makes it happen really fast you don't have to think it's just uh, you'll 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 be settling but anyway shop's clean I'll probably cut out some of that ramp that, that ramp but uh, let's get you in close and let's talk about some stuff that I've been up to. All right, back to the world of knife making. These are some that I've currently been working on. Uh, this is my new Skinner. This one's a little bit narrower. I found a guy that had uh, pin stock. This is a burl and uh, it's a hybrid scale is what they call it. It's got burl and it's got the, uh, I've drawn a blank. You know, that poor stuff that you use. <laughs> I'll draw a lot of blanks in life, y'all. But uh, this is my new Skinner. I made it just a little bit skinnier in the handle. It's still still fine. I like it. But uh, I was able to use pin material that they sell for pins. So I was able to get this material quite a bit cheaper. Uh, the other, I have to apologize to my YouTube fans. The, the two San Mai, the twins... This is the second I'm going to post. Uh, hopefully, if I'm good enough, I'll put in a picture of the, the first one that was done and completed. Uh, I'll add that picture in now. But this is the second one uh, that's saying my, that I made the whole bit, started the whole video series about. I think I got three videos in and then I got sidetracked. This thing is beautiful. It has a hammered texture finished guard on it. It's not coming up as good in here. Uh, I took this down to meet with a bunch of master bladesmiths down in South Arkansas uh, at the old Washington schoolhouse for bladesmithing. Uh, I, Man, those guys are just a great bunch of guys. I got a lot of stuff I want to share from meeting with, with those master bladesmiths down there and learning from them and their techniques and things. But, but. All right, so as I stated, this knife sold. What does that mean next? We've got to make a sheath. Leather. Let's get at it. Make a sheath today. 
Uh, what I'm going to need from here is the scraps. Okay, so <laughs> it's gonna, it was it was just instances for you, but it was it uh, probably 40 minutes for me. So here's the basic design of the sheet, pancake sheet. I'm gonna do a welt all the way through. We're gonna modify that welt for the second belt loop. Uh, we'll show you all. I just thought of a plan for what I was gonna do for that. Uh, inside the 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 welt. Here. It doesn't have to be perfect y'all. Uh, it just needs to be there. It doesn't have to be perfect, but it needs to be there. So this is the design of the sheath. Uh, first belt loop is out here. Uh, there'll be some quite a bit of molding whenever this is done together to get this all to fit good. Um, I'm gonna make this as smooth as possible on the inside there. Then so all the way around and then the modification of the welt after i glue it to the back i'm going to cut out a notch and then i'll run a strip of belt loop up and around and to the other side glue that in place and then whenever i put the cap on stitch it all through and then you got front belt loop back belt loop uh, that's I'm gonna wait until I get it in there to where uh, see where I want it to be but that's the design batteries going dead on the camera I'm gonna charge that battery up and then I will be back at it okay batteries charged up again ready to go uh, I did look and rethink while I was off camera uh, all I did is cut off uh, as I kept lining it up and looking at it, uh, I cut off quite a bit of that. So now the sheath is going to a little bit more compact. Uh, let's get the knife in there. Careful, it's sharp. And that's the way it's going to look. So you can get a little bit more purchase on it without it being away. Remember, this is a lot of people will wear this on their hip, so this will be kind of rounded. So this will fold in and give that nice, great, easy access to pull out. So a little bit shorter, a little bit cleaner, a little bit nicer.
Okay, got that glued up. I'm just gonna scratch the smooth side. Notice that uh, during I forgot that I wouldn't have access to dye and burnish the edge there right in there till after and one would think that yeah it's a mess up that's not where I messed up massively where I messed up massively is I was supposed to cut out and put another loop I did not cut out for another loop so, it hasn't been that long. I just got back out here and got to thinking about that and what an idiot I was. So let's see if we, what do I want this? tighter stitching layout than I normally use. Let's work on the belt loop. Cause you're wanting just a chunk of beeswax right now to figure out how to undo this mistake uh, get my leather in here what I need to dye what I don't need to dye to make all this go right Okay, got that kind of drying. What I want to do though, and I should have done this before, I'm not a leather worker, folks. Not a leather worker. I'm going to slide this piece of leather in here just as a spacer material. Probably going to be a bit of a pain to get out, but that's the problem I will deal with. Or maybe not.
that took a really long time for me to do. The dexterity in my hand is going out. It started cramping real bad to do it. Okay. So we didn't skip too much here, but we did jump a little bit ahead. Uh, I went ahead and dyed the top. Uh, I had to go to basketball tournament for my daughter, so uh, I wanted it to at least be drying while I was gone. You know, that just makes sense stuff. <laughs> 